Oi. This is a short beginner's guide on how to start this free to play game. Star Siege Death Zone, where you can choose either solo and squad. I am just going solo. I like solo more. But you need to rely on teammates. Also, teammates can steal your loot. So I guess solo is just the way to go. And as you can see, I'm geared up to the max right now. But well, I'm gonna have to drop in with a pistol to make my point shown. Something else you can see, I split up my ammo so it's almost 100 with every goddamn drop here. And I don't drop in with more than 100 rounds because the first room mostly gives you what you need. And you can just split that with shift and drag so that you have enough ammo everywhere so if you get to the point where you have that much ammo make sure you are only taking in a hundred something with you so for example where's my LMG? Damn. there I dropped my LMG here I'm giving myself a hundred ammo and I'm going in with one or two shields and one or two health packs depends on how much I have right now I have plenty so it doesn't really matter I can go in with two or otherwise I would go in with one but since when you start the game you only have pistols and you don't have health or med kits and no ammo so that's pretty much how you start you have no money right top hand corner is your money you don't have that either you don't have perks which here we have passive perks and here we have abilities like the scanner and the face shifter default and dome shield is what I'm using right now to get the turret syndrome the turret the other thing you can see here is armors you get that through questing or through buying it from merchants or crafting it yourself I hope that wasn't too complicated already oh character and there you got your stash your guns and that's pretty much the default stuff you have and it's wise to get armor before guns but you should go in with at least one or two gun and if you have one or two guns or the stash that i'm having you can put your points into armor but you should always check your contracts and if i see there a contract that's gonna give me an armor piece like that one here 40 side braids then i won't buy myself a helmet that's why i don't have a helmet yet and bought everything else i feel like the boots also were quests so check with your contracts what you need and then you can buy either armor guns you won't get power with pistol only but if you have one or two guns already you can go in with one good gun, that's not a double barrel, a sword rifle slay, a sword rifle um, MG, that's pretty much the good stuff. I'm gonna jump in with the pistol, that's gonna be the first thing you're gonna try to do. Either quest as much as possible, or jump in with the pistol and just, you know, kill someone and get out alive, which it's pretty difficult you need to strafe a lot if you want to survive with a pistol and strafing does help there though what a brick what a brick oh, okay time to think joining match if you get out alive you get credits otherwise you have safe pockets and it's important to stash something in your safe pockets before you leave the first starting area because after then things often get hairy you're all nicely lined up and you mostly get into combat situations where you can't just think Peter Lustig about dashing stuff in your inventory so I came in with zero stuff in my pocket as you can see so this might take a few tries to get out alive with some loot so you can build up on that you can knife them if you are quickly enough this already failed if you nope this already failed 
if they don't stand up that quickly you can knife them but as you can see now i'm already at a disadvantage which ain't worth it because i already would have to pump a shield into me and now we're getting some loot and now we gotta choose what we want to put in our safe pocket and this time it's definitely heavy scrap i got two safe pocket places but with heavy scrap you can build yourself an lmg and with money since I have two safe pocket slots, I can fill both. You can pick up bears, by the way, and place them. That was a pretty nice placement. The door is open. Normally the door is not open, which is weird. Normally you have more privacy in those safe rooms. Yeah, the first room, make sure you put stuff into your safe pocket and you can get up to 25 of those scraps. Would be wise to use your safe pockets before you get out of your safe first studying room. Look, we got a shield. Nice. Light scraps. Oh, for SMGs, I believe, or pistols. So now it's worth it. That's the heavy scrap. The hell are you? Oh, the script strambonizer. I got one of them. Look at that. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. Let's get that in here. That's just a sellable, but that sells for 500. So that's the first round. So will be a choice between what you want to put in your safe pocket. Is it something you can sell for money? Oh, is it? He didn't go for me. And we have a fight. Oh, we're not ready for. I can throw my grenade over there. That might give me a good advantage. That goes pretty straight. Oh, he just doesn't want any part of me. Oh, maybe he just doesn't want any part of me. I don't think he has something else than a pistol. Just like me. That looks like his starting spot. Let's be risky. And just loot more. I'm basically having to come his way. Dangerous. There's a box somewhere here. Maybe not. Yeah, that room screams trouble. Try pushing through here, damn it. Sounds oh, big money. Okay. Now we gotta be careful. That gun is good, but it heats up pretty quickly. Uh, takes time to be usable. It has a loading period beforehand. So I probably will pop my cheap pop off. I see protection. Nope, don't open the door, don't open the box. So much scrap metal. I don't even need that much anymore. He still can come from behind, so I need to check that. Okay, let's just risk it. For the ammo. Smoke grenades ain't worth it. Get up. Go. Wow, 
Well, that was bad timing for both of us. Ooh. I actually won that fight. I probably didn't do too little damage here, but that exploding barrel just was bad timing. Yeah. And now the problem is we only got what we got in our safe pockets. Everything else is lost. Besides the XP, we still have that. But that won't be enough to buy us a gun. Because we didn't get too much money out. Probably just a heavy scrap. Because the script, script strengthenizer, you can't take that with you. But I'm gonna sell that here. 200 only. That's not even that much. Okay, let's go in again. Without any good loot. I mean, we got more armor than everybody else. That's a good thing. So if I don't have that much and I've just got myself a gun, I'm also making sure that that's where you can craft your guns. And I would recommend you craft that LMG. So I would craft that. Then I would make sure that under consumables I buy myself the right ammo for it. And one shield pack. So you 500 for the gun, 200 more, 700 and then you get 1000 per evac you can afford that at least so that would be a good start an LMG and some ammo and some healing right now bad timing that happens that happens a lot damn it okay I'll drink in the meantime that would be the starting tip I can give you remember your safe pockets Make sure you strafe left and right with your pistol with that machine gun minigun that I got. You can't strafe, you're too slow. I could have ran away, but I felt like I had a good chance still. I don't know how much damage he took from the barrel. Apparently less than me, which was kind of insane. He was right next to me. Anything in my... No, I didn't forget to take the stuff out of my safe container. That happened to me a lot. A whole lot. But yeah, the first room, take your time with it. You can see on my mini-map on my left side, somebody has also a room that they came in. Definitely could have knifed him. It took forever to stand up. I can knife him now. I'm just gonna have to sprint forward. And he dead. So often you can see on your map where they're coming from because it looks like your spot that little circle that's not fully there circuit board is good for green guns and armor I believe you can craft with it armors feedback is lucky on our part and then we will be coming from our left. Almost sure about it. Can't do that yet. I played the last two or three alphas. But oh, look at that. That's big luck again. Good starting weapon. That, that. I believe this. Someone pretty close to our corner here. If you only have one good gun with you, you need to use the wicked gun for the robots. Come here, boy. Damn it, I need to sneeze bad. Mm. Oh, okay. This is dangerous now. Okay, there he is. Oh, 
I don't know if it's coming for me or the other guy. Walter White got someone killed. We're gonna rush after the droid. There's someone else here too. Jesus Christ. No, it's a free zone here. And I don't even have too much ammo with me. Hmm. I'm gonna back off a little bit. Damn it. Jesus Christ. No, oh, I'm in a bad spore. Come on, ammo, ammo. Yes, I'm a damage boost. Holy hell. That's not nutrition. It's not better. Definitely not better. Wow, well, I'm the screwedest of the screws. That guy in my D bag. Come on, give me ammo. One more healing juice. I have to use it. I don't even have pistol ammo. Yeah, well. It's gonna be a battle for those last two bots. Okay, one more chance to get some ammo. Damn it. He didn't take those bots, so he's to my left. Okay. Just having a gentleman agreement. You can evac, dude. Just jump out. Gentleman agreement. Jump out, dude. Come on. What's wrong with you? <laughs> yeah. Ah, now we're getting cash. We got a gun out. And in this case, it would be better to evac. Quick dip. The dome seems to be good for evacing. So you can evac. 
and be sure do not get shot in your back. I got a little bit of cash, right? I'm not crazy. Maybe that's just a contract to evac once. Not quite sure there, but the first time you evac, you definitely get cash. One more game. Let's jump in with loot. Just like I would have said it. I'm gonna keep that ammo here. I'm gonna use uh, a cannon wanna. It's not that important. Make sure you clear your stuff so you have inventory. Room to pick up new crap. Okay, let's see. I have a um, blue sword draft for any demo there. I'm gonna use two shield packs. I can shift drag that over there. So it's only one. I'm gonna keep the grenade here. And that's how I'm gonna jump in. I could buy some armor, but I need. I'm gonna wait till I'm level 10. Where's my level? I'm not blind. Eight up there. And when I'm level 10, I can buy myself green armor. So I'm gonna wait till I'm level 10. And then it's green armor city. <laughs> I got a fake lens flare on if you're wondering. Those lens flares you see in the bottom right corner, they're both fake. They're both fake? Yeah. But with that loot I got out. I don't even know if I would go in with a gun immediately afterwards. I might have gone in with pistol only then and risk the chance that I go in with no loot and get stuff out rather than going in with my first gun immediately. There are some guns who are definitely better. Assault rifles over every fake else. Oh, LMT number one. Assault rifles number two. Minigun is also not bad. And everything else is kind of risky. Snipers for close range fights. And shotguns you need to close the distance which rarely happens so far. Ah, who's in here? And God thanks, they introduced the feature that they're gonna give you in the last zone, evac spots, which wasn't there beforehand. The first alpha blade, you just died in the last zone. Okay, weaker weapon first. Let's see, nothing around. Just a Laser trap. Robots don't get hurt by laser traps. That hand cannon is more so a shotgun magnum type stuff. And for the laser traps that are in the middle of the room, you can jump over them, you need to crouch under. Which is also risky. Often risky businesses. We're gonna try to... Oh, we can already get a better gun. Okay, let's get that into inventory. I feel like every time I go in with a gun, I find more guns. And it's only the question if I can make it out alive. Last time I bled this gun, it didn't strike me as a good gun. Maybe it's better now. It's dangerous that that door is open. Just, you know, pop my safety bubble. And then fill my safe slot. That is also pretty loud. See where they could have spawned close to me. Ah, uh, I have no more light ammo. Only pause ammo. So I should look out for that. Those are robots. Door is open too. Hate that. Enemies could just sneak in. There we go. Ah. Uh. 
And as you could have seen in the last game, you don't have time to switch through your safe pockets. I saw you. I saw you. That goes through walls, so it's easy to see. Is he coming after me? No. That's bad, that laser trap here. Shotgun. Woo! Damn. Auto shotgun. I didn't even see that before. He survived me. I don't I don't feel like that death recap tells me a lot. Oh damn, I didn't see that coming. Let's drop in with a pistol on this again. And I need to clear my safe pocket. I didn't think he would kill me. I did so much damage. Teammate revive. What? Is that a passive ability? Huh. Okay. No thanks. I'm soldering. One more free attempt. Any more dips I can think of? I feel like it's a 50-50 chance if you get it alive. It's not quite clear how much damage you're doing to the enemy compared. Yo, six melee spiders, savage for boarding pistol. Is that what you get in with? Okay. So I guess you can look through your quests a little bit more. Seasonal contracts. So we get a match. Hopefully. Can't read through that. Damn it. But the loading times, the waiting times till you find a match are way quicker right now, which is good. In the last half, it was like five minutes. And damn, Bruder, that's just too much. Okay, pistol only. Do they have a name? Cybrid boarding pistol, okay. That's what we have to use to quest with. Heard that. That's a guy sprinting next to us. So someone coming from my left. I still can't hear him. That's stuff to sell. At some point you will have enough crafting materials. That's very important to sell. They drop me stuff. I don't know if it's a tactic to just rush the other guy. I just landed in. I haven't seen anyone try that yet. I always take my time in those rooms. And I would recommend you to do that too. Just got crab in there. Ah. Uh. Level 3 or 4 you get your second safe pocket unlocked so it doesn't take too long. And then you can either take materials with you or just stuff to sell. And if you get out alive you have cash normally. What do I have with me now? A cat and a service star. And look through those little windows I always do that
He was right in front of us, I could have sworn. Or was the decoy then? That's not a decoy. There's definitely more than just one dude. Let's see what's in here. Might screw me if I go through. Looks like this dotting area from someone. So far there wasn't any decent beer. That's a bad spot for me. I'm gonna risk it. Not worth it. No, I'm in a pickle. Can't see far here. Damn, good, good job, dude. I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. I'm stuck, damn it. I'm stuck, I'm stuck, damn it. <laughs> Just end it. I'm stuck in the corner. <sighs> I didn't like that. I'm gonna go in with good gear. That's the third of second time that happened holy hell man how could i be so stuck okay time for good loot otherwise my combat chances of coming out alive doesn't seem too bad here so many pulse rifles i need the boarding pistol <sighs> for a quest so i guess this will be the setup I want to take the ammo with me for the pudding pistol. I will take one shield. Nope, that's too much. Two health packs, why not? I have that room. Yeah. Ah, getting stuck in a PvP fight, damn it, game. While you're loading, you could always buy stuff at the merchants. That's what I've been seeing. And look through what I can do here. A crossbow, I could grab that. Even though the accelerator isn't worth it. I guess I need a high intensity barrel for the good stuff. But armor, so that's good, the good stuff that you can craft. Am I level 10 already? No. We've sworn I need to level. Ah, oh, to buy stuff but it always seemed better to just craft stuff and cheaper too so i guess i could craft myself armor parts or minigun nope boost pistol a post rifle of course stuff i have more than enough for spin fuses a grenade launcher let's see a void suit set a guard that would be not too bad to have. Let's craft that for the next matches. Let's see what else. Oh, I'm gonna get a helmet soon. And that was very expensive. Joining match. Good. Good, good. So I don't have the green armor pieces on right now. Just the white one. I'm gonna buy the green armor. And then resell or sell back the white stuff. You need to sell your armor. And the armor stays on, not like in Psycho Frontier. The Psycho Frontier, where your armor doesn't stay on. Just something good to know. I hope this game gets more popular. It's getting quite addictive with PvP being pretty cool and quickly happening. You don't need to wait long. At maximum, I feel like I had 8 hour, 8 hour, 8 minute games. Hey, Black Dragon is back. And Dumbledore. Dumbledore, Dumbledore, damn it. What a nice pronunciation of that word, Patrick. 
I will scan after the explosion. And if they're still on the ground, now to sure them. I need to kill spiders. Not the normal human. Not those guys. Why does need to be owned? From what I've heard, there's also skill based matchmaking. So the better loot you get, the more better enemies you will get, PvP wise. And then I would bring more med kits and ammo with me, maybe. Even though ammo. If I bring a lot of ammo with me, I will always find more. But don't bring a lot, I won't find it. It's just a rule of nature. You know, stash stuff now. If it's green, it's for sure. Should land in your safe pocket. I feel like I heard something weird. Yes, ammo. Yeah, that sounds more like an enemy on top. Bad aim. Damn it. Okay, he went for the melee kill. Interesting tactic. But I guess the Cybrid Totten Faust. Of course he went for the melee kill. Name like that. Makes sense. So here's good stuff for me. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you shouldn't have. Dude, you shouldn't have. It seems like he was in here for a long time. So, I didn't get that. Mm. Put that in here. Let's drop that. And the zone is already coming in. It seems like this guy was in it before I was. Otherwise he wouldn't have been that much loaded. Okay. That's good. Use damage boost always early. You can't put them or in your reserve, sadly. That's just bad how high this guy is flying up. Yeah, that was bad. I can't even heal in time. And that's my damage boost gone. Lovely. Got our damage boost then. Mm, that seems dangerous. Just get that away. Let's see what's behind the door. That room is just trouble. There's so many doorways to can camp in. See that? Right in front of me. He probably knows that I'm coming. Ooh.
Yeah. Besides my barrel hitting him. Good. He had the advantage. What? That was behind me a barrel too. That's what screwed me. Environmental. Damn it. I moved two barrels and I would have had to move three. Anyways. PvP is hard in this game. This part is over though. Yeah.